all know, election day is tomorrow. And regardless of who wins, half the country is going to be upset and maybe even fearful of what is to come. Carrie Watley is a counselor with the Equine Therapy Group, and she joins us now today to tell us how we can move past disappointing election results. Carrie, thanks so much for being with us. So, how do people on both sides of the political spectrum move forward, even if they're not happy with the results? Focusing on what is important really matters. No matter who the president ends up being, you're still going to get to read your kid a bedtime story, and you're going to watch the game on Saturday, and you're going to go out with your friends. And I'd bet really good money that the president has never cooked you and your family dinner or helped you get a job promotion. Those are things that you do. And so keeping in mind that life is going to go on no matter who the president is, and there's no need to have that fear or hopelessness that a lot of people have. All right, so you mentioned hopelessness or, or feeling maybe not in control. Uh, what are some ways people can kind of get back with that if that is the way they're feeling right now? Focusing on what you are in control of goes a long way. And there's a lot of things from your attitude to how hard you work, how kind you are to people, especially the people that don't agree with you on everything. Those things go a long way. But more than that, it's remembering that, like, if I were to ask you who has had the biggest impact on your life, Chances are people aren't going to say the president. They're going to say a parent or a teacher or a friend, right? And so when you think about what is the quality of the next four years of your life going to look like, it's not going to be based on who the president is and his choices. It's going to be based on you and your choices. And remembering that can help us all breathe a little easier. Some really great advice. And Carrie, just uh, before we go here, uh, one thing I would even suggest is maybe tomorrow don't argue on social media. I think that's going to be a big problem yes. uh, tomorrow. And, and, and people get so upset about what other people say. Yes, don't argue with strangers on the Internet. There's no point on it. Don't, don't gasoline on anybody's um, unhappiness. And we'll just focus on, on the good things and, and move ahead and try to have a better 2020. Exactly. Carrie Watley with the Equine Therapy Group, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.